Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed. It is April 10, 2017, 110 a.m. And Birmingham topic is in chapter 18, Revelations, a lot happens. And let me tell you about that. And um, this is chapter 18 and verse 8. It, it says, therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judged her. This seems to take Babylon, the final empire, and destroying it because they were talking about that afar uh, off they saw the smoke of her. And um, so here we are in chapter 18, fall of Babylon, mourning from the earth for Babylon's destruction, but yet rejoicing from heaven for Babylon's destruction. That's 18. This is when the church returns. This is when the church is mentioned next, from chapter 4, verse 1, to chapter 18, and here we go. And um, so they're talking about for one hour, so great riches has come to nothing, absolutely nothing, and every shipmaster and all the companies and ships and sailors and as many traded by the sea stood afar off and cried and saw the smoke of her burning saying, what city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust from the heads. This is the smoke and the dust from the fire. And um, so they're mourning the burning of Babylon or the destruction of Babylon but yet in, joys, in heaven, they're rejoicing over her. Thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets from God hath, uh, hath avenged you on her. This is when people keep saying, how long before you avenge our blood? This is it. Chapter 18. And it is verse 20. But at the same time, this is when you have the clouds parting away and Jesus coming down with the saints behind him also in chapter 18. And um, wow. I, I didn't think that so many plagues and judgments, death and mourning, and all would happen almost at a single time, a large portion, not everything. Everything's going on all along. And, um, but after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having the power, and the earth was enlightened with, her, with his glory. And um, then another voice cried out, open or come out of her, my people, that you are partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. He's, he's moved his people into Petra, kept them safe for that seven years. And that was Michael that carried them there. And, um, but so much happens in chapter 18 that it seems like the biggest part of the destruction comes in chapter 18. Also, chapter 18, Christ comes back on a white horse from the sky opens up and every eye shall see him. And, um, the church comes back at that time. And, you know, <laughs> 
it's kind of over, but it's not over. Because in 19, you hear that Satan is cast into hell for a period of 1,000 years. But at the end of that 1,000 years, he'll be released for a short season. And when it says a short season, it's not talking about three months. It's talking about about a half of that time. But in that quick, that short of a time, he will amass a great army that has lived in absolute peace for a thousand years. Peace. Satan is in hell for that thousand years. And this earth is peaceable. It's at peace. But yet all those born during that thousand years will have to receive Christ. Those who came in to the thousand years came in as saved. But those who came through as saved and alive will be able to replenish the earth. That means millions of Jews will help replenish the earth for a thousand years. That is when the number and the sands on all the beaches in the world. And I can see literally no death for a thousand years or very little, if any. I can see that there being 10, 20, 30 billion people. But yet this earth is designed to feed Numbers that you can't count. They can do it easily, except our government and other governments are purposely keeping it down. They're purposely keeping from us all the things that could heal what we have today. And those things will disappear. Well, they've already disappeared. We still don't have them. But my quandary has me stuck in the mud and and I'm going to figure it out. And I, I'm not going to figure it out by what anyone else says because going by that keeps me in the mud. I've relayed to you the four things that I've gotten in the last four weeks and I've put them in blogs that I've stopped doing prayer and wrote them down. This two years that it took to find Jesus is one of those. So if that's so, why would we think that Trump would be here any less than that time, even four years at that point? Two years to find him, but yet he killed all those under four. I still believe there's a greater chance than not that we'll be here at least four years from January 20, 2017. I believe that. But I am ready to go as if we're going to go in a minute. I'm ready. I'm prepared. If you can be ready and prepared, then time, forget time, You know you're going one day, and you know you're going soon, because we see right here, we'll be in Revelation chapter 12, September 23. We'll be here in that time. That's almost, well, that's over halfway through tribulations, but yet we've not seen the judgments. They haven't started. They will. When those angels fall and the four comes out of river Euphrates, they'll kill a third of mankind. Now, if that is the case, we're going to go. No beings about it. If we see those stars fall, then don't even hold your breath. It'll go before you take a chance. But just be ready. Just be ready. There's a movie that um, that uh, I, I can't remember the guy's name doing 
the convergence and it's uh and I just got shut off right there and it's not supposed to do that and I apologize to you but the convergence is coming out well, I think it came out the end of March. I ordered it, and it's coming in. It is about a girl, and, and there'll be a lot more, but she wakes up to find that she's in the tribulation. She's in that seven years, and she walks around and said, they told us it wouldn't be like this. They told us all this destruction wouldn't happen. They told us these things. Look for the movie Convergence. Go to either Prophecy in the News, YouTube, Skywatch TV, YouTube, L.A. Marzulli, YouTube, or Prophecy Watchers, YouTube, and you will see the father and son is making that movie. And I believe that I'm going to watch the movie. I don't believe we'll be gone by the time it arrives, even if it doesn't come until May. But it's very interesting. It's supposed to be one of the best that you've ever seen about the end days. In Damascus, I'm just waiting for the, for the hour that they're going to call and say Damascus is no longer there. It's been reduced to nothing and it will never be inhabited again. Damascus has been destroyed. The next city or country to be destroyed will be Egypt. They're next. They just don't know it. They'll be underwater for 40 years. So a lot going on. But the number one message is be ready. Be ready. We're not going into judgment, so be ready. Jody will expose.